Hello dear students, welcome in this lecture of physics. We are continuing chapter number 2 and the name of the chapter is Mechanical Properties of Fluids. Today's topic for discussion is measurement of pressure. Yes, you can see the headline here, measurement of pressure. You know, there are some instruments which are used for the measurement of pressure. And such instruments are known as pressure meters, pressure gauges or vacuum gauges. I repeat again, the instruments which are used for measurement of pressure are known as pressure meters, pressure gauges or vacuum gauges. We are going to learn two such instruments here. The first one is mercury barometer. What is barometer? A barometer is an instrument used for the measurement of atmospheric pressure. Now what is atmospheric pressure that we have already discussed in the earlier video. But let us revise it again so that you can understand this in a better way. Atmospheric pressure means the weight of the air column at any point having unit cross-sectional area extending from that point up to the top of the atmosphere. That weight of the air column is called as atmospheric pressure. And this atmospheric pressure can be measured with the help of barometer. An Italian scientist, Torricelli, devised for the first time the method of measuring atmospheric pressure with the help of mercury barometer. Now how the mercury barometer is constructed? You can see the figure here. Mercury barometer consists of a tube which is filled with mercury up to its brim and then it is inverted into the dish which already possesses some mercury. When it is placed in a dish, some mercury level falls down and the gap is created at the closed end of the tube. This gap possesses mercury vapor and no air. Whatever the gap you see here between the mercury level and the closed end of the tube, this gap possesses mercury vapor and no air and this gap is called as Torricelli's vacuum. Now why this gap is created here? Because some mercury which is inside the tube spills inside the dish and that's why the level of the mercury falls down. Even if you have filled it up to its brim, but the liquid level falls down just because of spilling of mercury inside the dish. Now, here we are going to consider some points. You can see there are some points, point A, point B, point C. You can see that point A is at the surface of mercury inside the tube. And as this gap is Torricelli's vacuum, so the pressure at point A is zero. Yes, we can say that the pressure at point A is 0 and suppose this is equation number 1. There is another point, point C, which is at the surface of mercury inside the dish. Means it is open to atmosphere, so the pressure at point C is exactly equal to the atmospheric pressure. And if we denote the atmospheric pressure by PO, then we can say that PC is equal to PO. Means pressure at point C is equal to atmospheric pressure. Now there is a third point, point B, which is inside the tube but at the same horizontal level as that of the C. You can see clearly that point C and point B are at the same horizontal level. So the pressure at point B will be exactly equal to the pressure at point C. And at pressure at point C is already equal to the atmospheric pressure. Means we can say that the pressure at point B is also equal to 
atmospheric pressure is that clear if the point b and c are at the same horizontal levels then the pressure at both the points will be equal and pressure at point c is exactly equal to the atmospheric pressure means pressure at point b is also equal to the atmospheric pressure suppose this is equation number 2 now you can see that in a figure the point b is at a depth h below the point a see this is the depth h depth of point b below the point a so the pressure at b can also be written as pressure at b can also be written as pressure at a plus h rho g this formula we have already discussed when the point is at a depth h then the pressure at that point can be written as pb is equal to pa where a is at a height h from point b so that pressure is pa plus h rho g where h is the depth or you can also say that it is the height of the liquid column inside the tube h rho is the density of mercury here as liquid is mercury here so it is the density of mercury and g is acceleration due to gravity now suppose this is equation number three if we substitute the values of equation one and two in equation three what we get here pb is equal to po so in place of pb we are going to write here po means atmospheric pressure the value of pa is equal to zero so this zero in addition doesn't have any effect so we are not going to write it here zero plus h rho g means only h rho g and this is the pressure which is atmospheric pressure so it is clear from this formula that atmospheric pressure depends on height of liquid column inside the tube it also depends on density of mercury and acceleration due to gravity so in this way using this formula we can find out the atmospheric pressure you have to know only height of the liquid column inside the tube and the density of mercury if you substitute the values in this formula you will get the atmospheric pressure at that point in this way mercury barometer can be used for finding the atmospheric pressure means it is an instrument used for the measurement of atmospheric pressure okay okay now we are going to see the second instrument for measurement of pressure and the name of this device is open tube manometer this is a device which measures the pressure difference in a gas or you can simply say that open tube manometer is a device which measures pressure gauge pressure gauge okay now this device consists of a tube having a shape of u you can see this shape is of u shape one arm of this tube is open to the atmosphere and the other arm is connected to a container d or you can see say that this is a system consisting of gas and we are going to measure the pressure of this gas okay now this tube is filled with a low density liquid low density liquid means maybe water or maybe kerosene but why the low density liquid is filled here because low density liquid can cause a difference in the levels of the liquid in the two arms if this difference is greater it helps in maintaining the measurement of pressure more accurately means accuracy in the measurement of pressure increases if there is a much difference in the levels of the liquid in two arms and that difference is created by the low density liquid means water or kerosene that's why it is filled with low density liquid okay now in this case we are going to consider three points 
द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज पॉइंट ए विच इज ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द लिक्विड ओपन टू द एटमोस्फियर द सेकेंड पॉइंट इज बी विच इज इन साइड द लिक्विड इन द आर्म ओपन टू द एटमोस्फियर एंड देर इज अ थर्ड पॉइंट सी विच इज ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द आर्म विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द कंटेनर डी एंड हियर टी इंडिकेट्स द ट्यूब now point b is at a depth h below the point a so here the pressure at point b can be given as as in the earlier point we studied or as we have already studied about the pressure at the point which is at a depth h is given by pb is equal to pa plus h rho g now here pb means the pressure at point b which is at a depth h below point a pa is the pressure at point a and h is the height of the liquid column above the point b rho is the density of the liquid which is filled inside the tube and g is the acceleration due to gravity here okay now point c and point b are at the same horizontal levels so pressure at b will be equal to pressure at c now according to the pascal's law if the effect of gravity is neglected the pressure inside the enclosed fluid is at equilibrium means we can say that the pressure at point c is equal to the pressure inside the container d means pressure of the gas will be exactly equal to the pressure at point c because here is an enclosed fluid or maybe a gas filled in the container d and according to pascal's law if the effect of gravity is neglected the pressure here everywhere is same so we can say that pressure inside the container d is exactly equal to the pressure at point c if p is the pressure of the gas in the container d so that pressure will be equal to pressure at point c according to pascal's law suppose if this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 and if we give this as equation number 3 then using equations 1 2 and 3 we can write here if p is equal to pc and pc is equal to pb so we in place of pb we can write p now the pressure at point a means it is the atmospheric pressure because this arm of the tube is open to the atmosphere and this surface is also exposed to the atmosphere so the pressure at point a is exactly equal to atmospheric pressure means po so pa is equal to po plus h rho g as it is from equation 1 now as already discussed manometer measures the pressure difference or gauge pressure and that pressure difference or gauge pressure here is given by p minus PO is equal to H rho G. This is what we call as gauge pressure or pressure difference, and it is measured with the help of formula H rho G. In this way, open tube manometer can be used for measurement of gauge pressure. Is that clear?